it turned out that if you had a something about the mass of a of a pool ball, which of course you never have in a bar, <laughs> and you hit the third bolt down on the left side of the coin mech, it would set up a harmonic vibration and you'd get a free game. And literally, uh, whenever it's possible to cheat and get a free game, the world knows about it in about a femtosecond from the first person who discovers it. I mean, the, the, there's a network. And this is before the, the internet, but it's, it's an incredible. And, uh, and so you hear it from the, the field, hey, the machines quit earning money because people are getting games free. What are you going to do about it? And so you put your engineering hat on, you figure out what the problem is, you put dampers in and a, a slam switch and a couple of things in the circuit, and you eliminate it. The other one that happened is in dry climates, if they happen to be placed on a... Uh, carpet and if you could really, really um, get a big electrical charge and if you hit, in this case, it was the top bolt, you'd get a, a spark that would go through and it would reset the machine and about one in three times it will start, start the machine. Well, we saw people doing what became known as the, uh, the Atari shuffle and if the place didn't have carpet, they would put on nylon jackets and rub against each other <laughs> to get a, get a charge up. And, um, and that was a much harder one to do because, the, you know, these high voltage things would go all throughout the digital stuff. We were able to get that one solved as well. There was a very clever system in which uh, the person, the, the guy running the machines found that uh, the counter had counted coins, but when he'd look in the cash box, there'd be nothing there. And uh, one time he noticed that there was a little bit of moisture in the bottom, and so he staked out the machines and found out that, that some little kids, some 9, 10 years old, had taken modeling clay, made impressions of quarters, filled them with water, and then put them in, a, uh, in the freezer with a little bit of sand or, or other things to make them a little bit heavier. Then they put on their wagon an ice chest, went down to the local bowling alley, and they would quickly run in with these little discs of ice, put it in the coin neck, and then it would trigger a free game. <laughs> <laughs>